What do you think? Taking the knee. Surely we are all over taking the knee. The Premiership captains have decided this, by the way, 18 of them out of the 20 that made the decision are white themselves. Um, is, is it the right decision? Have we? Is it virtue signalling now? Lizzie, what do you think? I mean, I you, think it's you're look, in the football world. I'm in the football world, about? been in the football world nearly 30 years. Unbelievable. Because, you know, I'm only 21. Impossible. She started as a 12. Um, so but listen, before. let me tell you, and I know a lot of the players um, feel this is an empty gesture. And it does nothing to decrease racism in football. Now, listen, I used to go to the shed at Chelsea in 1989, can you believe? And where, sadly, oh, I mean, there were so many racist chants. I don't know if you know a footballer called Paul um, Chanville. He is incredible, did an amazing documentary about growing up with racism in yes. football. Yes, And it, and it uh, unbelievable. And um, it, it has got better, but it's still there. And we have to stamp it out, not just in football, but in all sports. But let me tell you, this move, to, I, it, it shouldn't be, it's empty gesturing. And you've got Angela Rayner there, who's putting her pennies worth in, saying, you know, describing fans that don't respect this as being racist, which they're not. This is their beloved game. And they can see that it's an, an unnecessary ideology that they're trying to enforce on them. The thing that annoys me, Lizzie, it's it's like, and obviously I'm a big football fan, West Ham fan. We've got our um, Man City tomorrow for the first game of the season. And um, evidently, first game of the season, we are meant to be taking the knee. But it's like the players are OK to express an opinion with a, a political gesture. But if the fans respond just by expressing their opinion, Lempit, they're not allowed to do that. Yeah. That's wrong. It's actually counterproductive for that reason. Lizzie's absolutely on the money here. Uh, if this was making a difference then you'd maybe countenance it. It would still be a bit uncomfortable for me because I've always thought you should separate sport and politics. I really do yes. feel that way. Uh, but it's actually annoying the people in the stands, and all of them, for people to say, oh, for goodness sake, for crying out loud. Then on top of that, we've got people like Gary Lineker saying he suffers racism because he's had dark skin. Oh, oh believe now, me. This is he Gary, if you're watching, you have not suffered racism. Seriously, that is a joke. Gary, Gary has suffered that... those things in his life. I mean, he's a <laughs> perpetual victim, <laughs> honestly. But this creates division. It's creating division in the game. And the and majority of the players I know, and, and you know, Wilfred Sahar was brave enough to come out and say it was demeaning. I mean, majority... But he can only do that, Lizzie, because he was black. I know, but... He... Good on him for saying yeah, it, absolutely. you know, and standing up. But, you know, and everyone is using it as a political thing. We've got Keir Starmer doing it, policemen oh. doing it when they should be stopping the riots. And I'm sorry. And the irony, irony, ironic bit of this is that the World Cup is taking place in a country that <laughs> um, you can get locked up for being gay or, you know, rape victims get locked up um, with their standards. It's unbelievable that they're still going to do this. Yeah, Southgate, Southgate is so woke unbelievable, is, is saying for the team to still Absolutely. demonstrate this gesture. You're right.